Hey y'all, what's happening? It's Hunter at Rainshot.com. I do hope everybody's doing well. Um, this afternoon I'm finalizing my review of the Hurricane Backpack from Full Forge Gear. Now, Full Forge Gear came to me a while back about buying an ad space on Range Hot. And I was like, you know what? That's cool. I'm interested, but I don't want to sell ad space to a company I'm not familiar with. I, I like to have some of your products, not that I'm trying to scam anybody, but I don't want to sell an ad that's going to be on my website to products that I think are probably not good products. I'm sure you can understand that. So I worked a deal with them. I'm like, send me a couple things to review. And at least, at least let me get a good start on the review. And if everything looks good to go, we can go forth with the ad. In which they did. So I did. And now here we are. I'm um, doing the finalization of the backpack review. And I've got a couple other range bags and a rifle bag review that I'm still working on that we're working out right now. So let's talk about this first. Like I said, this is the Hurricane backpack. And it's available in black and tan. Black or tan. I'm thinking about a black and tan beer and that would be good but that's not what we're talking about today hunter lee we're talking about backpacks so it's an available in black or tan msrp on this thing runs just under 60 dollars i've been using it now several months i've been using it a bit as a range bag but i've been using it a lot for work i've been carrying it to the tree job i've been carrying it to the logging job i've been carrying spare chains in it my lunch drinks gatorade all that sort of stuff within the bag carrying it with me on the job site it's held up actually really well it is made of 600 denier polyester fabric that is water resistant and the interior is a 210 denier polyester lining it is uh, stitched with a nylon monofilament stitches around this 10 gauge lockable zipper it has obviously been a backpack. It's got two shoulder straps and they're nicely padded, but also on the top, it's got a pretty heavy duty shoulder strap. Top handle, padded shoulder straps, Hunter. Top handle. It's all seemed to hold up pretty well. Now we're gonna talk about the pockets. However, I'm gonna get my dear Candy to move around to the other side as we talk about that. Okay, so here we start. We got two pockets in the front, kind of a small and large. Dual zippers on this thing. And within the pocket, you can see AR mag, 1911 mag, and ink pen. There are smaller little areas, pockets to organize. And then the top pocket here, you can see I got a couple spare rounds and some barrel block empty um, rounds. And then um, I'll tell you what, as I do that, I almost lost Candy's ink pen. She would yell at me. I'll be getting this stuff out. So that gives you an idea of the size of the pockets and the depth of them. And then you've got a secondary, like the, the secondary compartment. It opens up here. It's actually pretty good size. And you can see there's different areas to organize here. Just this 1911 magazine is going to give you an idea of how deep these pockets are. Take that out and that out. dual zippers on all these pockets I think that's pretty jamming and then we'll get to the main compartment here and uh, here you can see the old trusty Dan Weston specialist shown clear here by the barrel block and that gives you an idea how big that pocket is you've got a little nylon netting here as well as a last little small pocket in here Okay, so that's a pretty good close-up of the actual bag and all the insides of it. Uh, the external dimensions are 18 by 11 by 11. It is approximately 1,870 cubic inches, which is, uh, my, by my math, that is uh, uh, 4 times 4. So that's just over Ford. No, wait a minute. That's just over 4 Ford 460 big blocks worth of capacity. So you know how much a 460 makes. I mean, that makes a gobs of horsepower and gobs of torque. You got four damn worth of cylinders in space in this thing, or better. So I think you ought to have enough to at least put three days worth of your shit in here and have some room left over. Uh, empty, it weighs about three pounds. And like I said, MSRP on this thing is 60 bucks, y'all. Now, 
I've been using it several months and and so far I've had no problems with these zippers all the little pull tabs have stayed there's no rips or tears in it it's held up pretty well at this point I, I'm gonna continue to use the bag at this point I'm comfortable enough that it's gonna be decent you know what I mean I feel like we're on the right track with this this and the, the two other range bags of them and the rifle case from Forge, Full Forge Gear, all those that I'm using, they are really holding up well. So I feel comfortable in doing the review, having an ad on, on the website for these people and having their gear. So uh, if you're looking for a range bag, a day bag, I, I would call this maybe a three day bag, uh, something to keep in your truck. You saw it's got plenty of room. You can have some spare mags, maybe an MRE, a couple bottles of water. That sort of thing as like, you know, a, a, a go bag or what have you. I think that this would be a, a pretty good candidate. And like I told, like I talked about earlier with the, with the padded shoulder straps, the lockable waistband here, snappable waistband. It's not uncomfortable to wear. And that's really, that's the long and the short of it, y'all. I mean, it's a range bag. It's holding up. What can you say? If you liked the video, I, I hope you would consider subscribing to our uh, rangehot.com website, YouTube channel, but please do go over to uh, rangehot.com website. Uh, that's where I'm going to have the written article with all the other specifications kind of laid out. So I kind of went through this pretty quick. As always, it's just a video overview. I'll also link to the Full Forge Gear website where you can go over there and check it out on their site. And if you got any questions or comments, you know, we got a comment section below. That's what that's for. Let me know what you think, good, bad, right, or wrong. If you got any questions about the, the article or whatever, there's a comment section on rangehot.com. You can find me. Well, I was going to say you can find me on Facebook, but unfortunately, you can't find Hunter Elliott or Ranch Hot on Facebook no more because they kicked me off. Um, but, you know, it's fine. But you can still find me on the other social medias like Twitter, um, Pinterest, actually youtube that sort of stuff i'm still there as long as the the social media uh experts deem my quantity of quality low enough to to be presented on their platform i'm going to devolve into a a, a die tribe rant right now so we're just going to end this up i think i'm going to go get a little bit of um my my aunt betty's uh, cough medicine and straighten that out and uh so y'all take care of yourselves and each other look forward to seeing you at the range